Hey everyone, I'm back in Cologne and as you can tell it's really really quiet and partly that's because it's so early in the morning uh, but partly also because it's Ascension Day which is a uh, public holiday in Germany so what do you do with an astronaut on a public holiday shortly before his mission? Well you send him to uh, another country where Ascension Day is not a public holiday no, I'm just kidding but only a little bit so I'm on my way to, uh, to France to Saint-Étienne uh, where they have a special scanner where I'll have my uh, leg bone scanned as part of um, some of the research that we're doing in connection with my mission. Uh, the purpose of course is to understand how um, the bone density changes even under a, a short duration flight. So I'll fly there just for the day, have my bone scanned and then back to Cologne this evening and uh, ready to work again tomorrow when it's not a public holiday. Turns out I just discovered that uh, Ascension Day is also a public holiday here in France. But uh, Laurence and her team of specialists are going to run tests on me uh, regardless. Just goes to show that uh, science never stops. So I'm at uh, Ubital Noa in Saint-Étienne with uh, Laurence, uh, one of the principal investigators of the EDOS experiment. We're standing in front of a uh, high precision computer tomography machine that we'll use to uh, study my bone density before and after the mission. Perhaps you'll tell us a little bit about uh, the science behind it. The science behind it, so we know that in uh, space we don't uh, use our musculoskeletal system mainly on the, the weight-bearing part of, this, uh, of the skeleton. So uh, we, there will be an adaptation to microgravity and uh, we will lose bone. Uh, we don't know exactly um, at what speed of the kinetics and uh, when we will reach a steady state. Uh, so we need this kind of machine uh, to really look with the precision uh, what happens on, not only on the bone density but also on the bone structure. So even for a short 10-day mission, it's interesting to see when some of these effects might start. Yes, exactly. Uh, just to, to have more uh, data on this kinetics, it is possible, based on the bed rest uh, results we already get, that uh, it is possible that some very slight or tendencies are already on, on process because we know that the bone cellular activities will be challenged. Even after 10 days, we are for sure we are really expecting an increase in the bone resorption and this is something we will also evaluate on your blood. Okay. Uh, that's why we collect the, the serum uh, to analyze the bone markers, systemic bone markers in the blood. And obviously this has uh, benefits for astronauts in space but also for people on ground. Also for people on ground and I can tell that this machine has been built because of space questioning, but now it is used in um, all over the world in a um, research center to study uh, bone fragility in osteoporosis or in other situations. All right, very interesting. And um, what you're looking at here, the results, is a, a scan like this? Yes, so this is um, a scan. Maybe Hervé can come to comment better than me. So here it's a, a section, so you have the leg with the muscles, you can see very well, and this is the tibia and the fibula. So you can see the cortical bone, very dense, and inside you can see this network of uh, trabeculae, they are all connected, they, they look very nice. <laughs> they are all connected each others, and um, we will see uh, when you will come back from space if we have some uh, differences in, for example, the thickness of the cortical bone and also the connectivity in the trabecular bone. If you have less uh, trabecular member, if the trabeculae are um, thinner also, we will, we will be able to quantify all these parameters. Well, that uh, sounds interesting. I look forward to coming back after the flight for another scan and we'll yes. compare the results. Yeah, okay. Excellent.